Well, if you've been around South Congress recently, you may have noticed there's some new street signs. Yeah, the city recently added new paid parking spots to help with traffic congestion and to raise money for proposed improvement projects. But the addition of these signs and the parking has some workers frustrated. KXAN's Kevin Bosker shares their concerns. South Congress, packed with people visiting shops and restaurants, parking here is no easy task. Yeah, it is pretty difficult to find parking. And more recently, it's come at a cost. In March, the city started charging for parking, costing as much as $40 a day. This has some of the people working in these stores and restaurants frustrated as they struggle to find free parking close to work. Rarely do businesses pa pass out parking passes and stuff for their employees. Isabel Quinn, a server at the restaurant Two Hands, says the current parking situation is a huge inconvenience. Now, I mean, it can take anywhere from 15 or 20 minutes to find parking, let alone walk from that spot to your place of work. I parked in a garage one day when I was running late and I ended up having to pay $80 for it. Jillian Dodson is also a server at Two Hands, and she questions if she can continue working there. This is my favorite job I've ever had, but having to park in these conditions is starting to get to a point where I don't like, I just, it's not as enjoyable. In response to these complaints, the city said parking on or near South Congress best serves short-term visitor parking, and that the paid parking update has resulted in better availability for people visiting the area. The city also added that they are working with merchants to address employee parking concerns. Dodson says more needs to be done by the city to accommodate workers on South Congress. We're bringing in money to the street. We're bringing in foot traffic. I feel like we should be looked out for. Kevin Bosker, KXAN News. And we first started looking into this story thanks to a tip from a viewer. If you have something you think that we need to check out, you can email us at reportit at kxan.com.